simple drawing project, a house. Let's go ahead and try and draw a house now with all the many commands that we know how to use. Don't worry, it's not going to be an accurate representation of a house. It's going to be more of a dream house, whatever you want to make it to be. This lesson's more about having fun and getting comfortable with the tools. Let's go ahead and activate the rectangle tool. I'm going to start by drawing the roof of my house. I'll go ahead and make it kind of long. Well, that sounds about right to me. I will come down. We'll draw the front of it. Here's where my door will be when I come in. I'm going to go ahead and activate the rectangle tool again. Just line it up. Don't worry about making anything perfect. Think of it as you're in first grade and you just need to draw a house. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and hold the middle mouse button. And pan over a little bit. I'm going to zoom in on the door by scrolling my mouse wheel. This time I'm going to use the circle tool. I'll go ahead and give it a doorknob. About there. There. Looks like a good house so far. Let's go ahead and give it some windows. Just like that. There we go. Now, the windows I saw when I was growing up usually had two lines going across, just like this. So, we want to exit the line tool. You can go ahead and do that by pushing enter, space, or the escape key. We'll go ahead and click the line again. I'll click there and click there. Again, no need to be perfect. My window looks a little crooked as it is. Let's do this again, but for the right side. Go ahead, click there. We'll press the space bar. And remember, instead of coming back up here to the top left corner to reactivate the line, you can also type line in the command line to activate it. And push enter. And there we go. Now AutoCAD is asking us to specify the first point. We'll go ahead and click here. Click here. And now that I'm done, I'm going to right click and click enter. And there you go. My right window looks like it needs a lot of work. Okay, well, I've always wanted a house that had a chimney. So let's go ahead and activate the line tool again. I'm going to come over to the side and I'm going to give it a chimney. I'll simply come up like this. I'll come across and I'll come straight down. Looks like a good chimney to me. I'll go ahead and close that. Now that I'm done, I'll push the space bar. Move it over. Looks like a pretty nice house, I would say. Well, many people have cars, so let's give it a garage. Activate the rectangle command, as you can see. I'll go ahead and maybe starting from here. Let me drag out a little bit. I'll finish the bottom, but I'll use the line command. I'll come across, click here and click there. Now that I'm done, I'll press the escape key. Looking pretty nice. This time I'm going to go back to using the rectangle tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw the door of the garage. Make it kind of even. And there you go. Let's add a little bit of detail to that door. We'll zoom in with the mouse wheel. Pan over with the middle mouse button. I have the line tool activated right now. I'll go ahead and draw some lines across. Spacebar to exit, spacebar to reissue the command, another line, space again, space again, I'll click, add another line. Remember, you can press the spacebar, enter, or escape. I'll push enter this time. There you go. There's my garage. But you know what? I want windows. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And this time, let's play around with an ellipse. Let's try this one, an elliptical arc. All right, it says specify the axis endpoint of elliptical arc. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll make an endpoint here. Specify the other endpoint. I'll go ahead and come across to maybe here. I'll click. And now I have to give the distance of the minor axis. So I'll drag it out. Hmm, small, large, I'll maybe put it there. Okay, well, it looks like we have the ellipse, but we're not completely done yet. Now we have to specify the start angle. Okay, well, I'll come over to this way. I'll click here, and as you can see, it's cutting my ellipse. 
So I'm pretty much getting an arc. So you can swing across this way and that way. I'm going to end it here so it looks just like an arc. And there you go. Well, let's just use the arc command itself instead of using the ellipse. Let's go ahead and keep the three point. Again, you have 11 methods to create an arc. We're just going to use the three point for this one though. We'll go ahead and click on that. I'm going to add one arc here. My first point, my top point, and then I'm going to have another point here. And there you go. I have an arc. Well, these are supposed to be windows to my garage. So let's try and close these off. Pan a little bit with the middle mouse button. I have the line command activated. Click a point here. Click a point there. Now that I'm done, push space. Push the space bar again. I'm going to left click here. And I'm going to left click here. Then press the space bar again. Pan over a little bit. And I'll scroll out. Pan again with the middle mouse button. And it looks like I have a pretty nice house. Well, let's see about drawing a car for the house. So let's pan over a little bit more. But before we do that, let's draw a tree. I like nature. Maybe you do too. So let's go ahead and use the line tool. Let's make it easy and I'll just go ahead and do a rectangle. I'll go ahead and create a rectangle here. And just for simplicity, I'll go ahead and make a circle. I'll click here. I'll drag it out. And there's my tree. Looking nice, huh? Well, not really. But we're just getting familiar with the tools. Okay, let's work on a car. So we can start with the wheels. Go ahead and make a circle here. We'll create another circle over here. And there you go. Now we have the wheels for our car. I'll make a line right in the middle. Push the space bar. I'll go ahead and make an arc to go around my tires. Here's the first point, the second point, and there's the third point. And now I'm done. Another arc for the other side. One, two, three. There you go. It looks pretty decent to me. Activate the line. We'll come out a bit and come up a little bit. And then I'll push the space bar to exit. Now I'm going to activate the arc. I'll go ahead and give my hood a nice little curve. Here's one, two, three points, and I'm done. Pan over a little bit. We have a windshield to a car. We can come up and we're done there. Let's go ahead and add the top of the car. I'll click here, somewhere maybe here, and then I'll come down like that, and I'm done. There we go. Let's work at the back of the car now. Again, we'll use the arc tool. I will click here, here, and I'll curve it just a little bit there. I'll go ahead and activate the line command by clicking on it from the draw panel. I'll click here, come up a little bit, and I'll specify a point here. And I'll go ahead and just try and connect these points here. There. Push the space bar to end the line command. And it looks like a pretty nice car. But let's add one more little detail in the back. I'll go ahead and activate the line. I'll click here and here just like that. Push the space bar. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate the line command by clicking on it here. I'll click here. Make a line through the top there. I'll come up a bit and then I'll make a nice little triangle just like that. Push the space bar to exit the tool. I will double click on the mouse wheel to put everything into view. So there's my house, my tree, and my nice little car. But let's add a few more touches. We have a car but we don't have a door. That's simple. Let's just add a rectangle. Go ahead and create a rectangle there. And now I'll go ahead and make a window. We'll click here, here, come up, come across, and come back down again. Push the space bar, and we'll add a little back window right here, just for looks. This can just be an easy triangle. Push the space bar again, and there you go. You can always add some more detail if you want with the arc command. Click here, here, and here. We can do it one more time for the back. 
and there you go. Let's add some more detail to the tires. We can click somewhere close to center, drag out a bit, push the spacebar to reactivate it, do it one more time. Maybe tires look like that. That looks good to me. One more time over here, just like that. We'll activate it one more time, pull out a bit, and there we go. Pan over, I'll double click on the mouse wheel, and there you go. There's our house with a chimney, a tree, and a car. I hope you had fun drawing a house. Just pick any kind of object and play around with the draw tools. It's really important that you become familiar with quickly drawing items. Even though this geometry isn't accurate, later we're going to learn those techniques. But by creating simple pictures like this, it forces you to know the basic commands required to create more complex geometry. Because in the end, when you're creating a lot of construction geometry or any type of design, you're going to do a lot of drawing with these tools here. So the more comfortable you are with them, the better off you'll be.